Today, we're tackling five questions for the Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate exam, specifically under the domain of Kubernetes fundamentals. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Now, let's get started. All right, let's kick it off with question one. Which Kubernetes resource is used to define a desired state for pods and ensures their availability? A, service, B, deployment, C, namespace, D, config map. That's right, it's B, deployment. Deployments are the managers of Kubernetes, ensuring your pods are running as you expect. If one pod crashes, the deployment spins up another to take its place. Here comes question two. What Kubernetes API object groups multiple pods and provides a single point of access to them? A, ingress, B, service, C, node, D, config map. That's right, it's B, service. Services act as the go-between, making sure requests reach the correct pods. They're like the traffic controllers for your Kubernetes cluster. On to question three. Which Kubernetes component schedules pods to nodes? A, controller manager, B, API server, C, Kubele, D, scheduler. You got it, it's D, scheduler. The scheduler ensures pods are assigned to nodes where they can thrive based on resources and constraints. Here's question four. What is the smallest deployable unit in Kubernetes? A, node, B, pod, C, container, D, service. The answer is B, pod. Pods are the basic building blocks in Kubernetes, holding one or more containers. Let's dive into question five. Which type of Kubernetes service is used to expose applications to external traffic? A, cluster IP, B, node port, C, load balancer, D, external name. Correct, it's C, load balancer. The load balancer service creates an external IP to direct incoming traffic to your application. That's all for today. Hopefully you found these questions helpful. If you want more exam questions, visit our official website, kubernotes.org.